we were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hi, Taurus. It's Elle here to do your guest daily reading. I don't know. Anyway, it's a reading for you. Hope it resonates with you. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Taurus with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Taurus, when I was meditating off camera for you, I got like bomb or like um, smoke or um, like somebody's ready to blow up or like somebody's really mad, you know, like almost smoke coming out of somebody's ears. So I don't know. Let's see what this is about uh, for Taurus here. We've got love. Okay. So um, it has something to do with who you love. Old woman. Okay, servant, faithfulness. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have reunion. So, looks like somebody you love, who you are very subservient to, very submissive to. You know, they may even want to have reunion with you. They may even want to tell you, um, maybe even confess something to you. They might want to tell you how much they miss you, um, how much you mean to them, okay? Um, you are very loyal to this person. It's something about, yeah, honesty. They might want to be honest. It's like you, you're still loyal to them. It's like you have an unconditional, undying love for this person. This could have been somebody you grew up with also. This is somebody from your past here that you incorporated in your now. But it looks like... I don't know. This could be running out for you. You're done with it because it looks like you are too serving, too yielding to what this person wanted for the relationship. You didn't get your needs met. So this is one sided. This person got everything they wanted from you and you didn't get much of anything from them. Or this is what is happening now. Um, it, it was a lot of faithfulness to this connection as if. Maybe you felt like you were going to be rewarded. You will be rewarded maybe by a universe spirit because, you know, you're passing the test also. I don't know if this person is trying to come back and have a reunion with you. I think if you say no, then you pass the test here because I don't know if they've changed. Um, they may be trying to pull and draw from the fact that you still love them. You still have love for them. Um, and they know that they're running out of time with you, so they, they may come back and try to like propose something to you, maybe even propose to you. Um, yeah. They want you to be of service to them again. You know, they don't, I don't think they have the intention of actually showing up in service to you or it being mutually beneficial. This is a person who could be under judgment or getting like karma, getting their karma for maybe treating you bad. They're looking at their past experience and trying to figure out how they ended up here, how they ended up all alone, how they ended up under judgment. 
uh, how they need to change their personality. They need to have a transition in their personality. Let's see. Some of you, you have a wife or a girlfriend who's very yielding, subservient to you. You both kind of have been faithful to each other. There has been infidelity, though. Somebody could also be fear of growing old or somebody needs to grow up. You know, someone is fearful of growing up, of actually being uh, responsible, committed. You had a two of cups here. Um, so it, it looks like there there was something that was mutually beneficial on the surface. But then when you got down to the nitty gritty of it, it was one sided. Now somebody wants to restore the severed relationship. So somebody severed the tie. They cut it off. Um, they cut themselves off from this person also. Um, they had to be strong in doing this. It could have been you, Taurus. It could have been somebody else. This is somebody who's estranged from you, or it looks like there's distance here. Like, I don't know, they live at a distance from you. Yeah, the death card. Yeah, somebody cut the relationship off. It's done. It's a no-go unless you have complete and utter transition of your personality, of yourself, and of this relationship. We can't come back together and it'd be the same old thing is what somebody is saying here. Somebody needs to have a deep, transformative, emotional change with the death card, Scorpio there. Uh, let's see, yeah. Somebody needs to release power or they, the, the being power drunk or feeling like they, like a pseudo power. Like if I can make this person buy me this or take me here, then I have the power over them. I got the power to make them do, you know, it's, it's, it's very false. It's false. It's falsehood. There's a high level of immaturity in how somebody speaks. Okay. Somebody needs to be more tactful in their speech. You cannot say anything to anyone. You need to govern yourself accordingly. Five of wands because it, it causes for argument. There's also a lot of pettiness and drama. There's a lot of pettiness, drama, and gossip going around or sur surrounding a relationship, a marriage, a commitment. Uh, there could be someone on the outskirts of this connection who is talking about how they are the um, home wrecker. Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, there's a lot of pettiness, a lot of gossip, maybe even about somebody's sexuality. All right, let's see what else is going on here for Taurus, Ace of Cups. So um, it looks like you're getting um, spiritual download. There could be an energy of somebody loving the other person more than they love, you know, more than they love them. This is an offset of love. So somebody's got a big old fat cup of love for someone, and maybe somebody has a little small Dixie cup. Of love for the other person it's not comparable you know it's not you know it's definitely inequality here and back to earlier this somebody still has an undying unconditional love for somebody who just did them wrong you might need to walk away from this really learn how to walk away from this learn the lesson of standing up for yourself and walking away you don't have to be tread on you know that is not love um, some people, you know, associate pain or trauma, drama with love. It is not. I rebuke um, the tower. Yeah, all of a sudden, you know, what was in the dark is coming out. Something could really hit the fan, though. Somebody could have somebody on the outside of a marriage or a relationship, and it could be coming out here. Um, it could even be in regards to somebody's sexuality. Um, somebody likes girls, girl liking girl. Okay, maybe even that here. Let's see. That two of swords, somebody was trying to bury their head in the sand in regards to, you know, knowing that that person was a cheater, um, an infidel, uh, just, you know, unfaithful. Um, but it looks like somebody's not going to be able to really bury their head anymore. They're going to have to really look at this for what it is or look at this person for who they are, that they don't have any money, that they don't prioritize, uh, they don't do right. Uh, you have to look at this person and their character. It's like, I don't know, Taurus, you were trying not to look at that. You had a temperance card. You were trying to just really take the middle ground and not really look at the, you know, the black and white of the situation. Try to look at the gray area of how much you love them or you care for them. There could be somebody with B.O. here, body odor here. Um, so I needs to wash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, the temperance card here is, it's just like, um, somebody is expecting reunion or there will be reunion or but it's going to come with compromise or you need to compromise or you're going to have to give something up or you're going to have to play your cards right or 
you know, be on your best behavior with the temperance card to make it work. The ace of wands. Uh, yeah, you got to be up for the challenge of moving this forward. It could, it could have very little progression. Like it could be a new start, a false start. Page of wands, queen of cups. Yeah, somebody might have to go back into, you know, themselves, back into hiding, back into you know, recovering their emotions or maintaining their emotional stability because somebody is too up and down, hot and cold, off and on, too passionate, but there's no grounding of the energy. I don't know. It's like maybe you reconcile with somebody, y'all have sex, get in the sack, and then you think that we're back on and they show you those same qualities that they had not changed. This is what I have for you, Taurus. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website and book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number the number below. Uh, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are a business-minded individual or you want to be around business-minded people, sign up for the KTMG monthly conference call where we do a conference call about business how to start your own business maintain your business or even grow your business okay um and if you uh, want to get on a complimentary um call with me a discovery call we can talk about business and how you can get involved in that or how you can start that all right so that's what i have for you taurus many blessings to you take care